So we're just writing a book about death and rebirth, and it's actually a point where people have a lot of questions, a lot of things they would like to know. And, well, what can we say about it? First we must say that it's actually an illusion. That which is looking through our eyes and listening through our ears right now is conscious space. It has no size, weight, color, smell or form. It wasn't born, made or created. It won't die, disappear and fall away again. It's absolute and we can absolutely trust it. So the true essence of things has never been born, can never die. On the other hand, uh, that which we experience, the flow of experiences, of impressions moving through that space, of course, appear, change and disappear again. And right now we are receiving the world through all our senses. We are hearing, feeling, smelling and so on. At a certain time when this body falls away, that awareness and energy which is looking through our eyes and listening through our ears right now will leave these bodies because no sense impressions are coming from the outside anymore, then the subconscious experiences will come up and we will become actually, we will experience a lot of different things. At a certain time, and we say within seven weeks, not longer than that, then the strongest tendency in the mind has come up, whether it's based on pride, on jealousy, on attachment, on confusion, or on greed or on anger whichever of these mental images is the strongest, then we will experience a world which corresponds to this. The way that on the good day we meet all the nice people, on the day where we are angry we meet all the useless ones. In exactly the same way, you know, when we die these different things will come up inside us. So that is what goes from life to life. You know, this stream of awareness, you know, moves through. And actually it's an illusion. No real me can be found and no real you can, not be, can be found either. And it's also a difficult illusion. Our happiest moments are the ones where we forget about being separated from others. Love making when we and our partners fuse together in a moment of intense bliss, you know, and time stands still. Or in a quick curve on the motorcycle or the free fall before we open the parachute. These are the situations where we really live. And the reason we really live is that all the feelings of separation between me, you, and whatever is being aware of me and you have been dissolved, are not there. So Buddhism is a way to bring this about scientifically. And it is possible to live in a state of unbroken bliss. I promise you that, both when you live, when we die, and when we are reborn again. Mm -hmm.